Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial, and today I will be giving you guys a more in-depth look at S-Shake in After Effects. I wanted to quickly mention before we start that I wanted to say that we hit 650 subscribers in less than a month. We started at 500 at the beginning of the year and now we're at 650, which is mind-blowing and I don't even know how that happened. So I wanted to say, give, give you guys my biggest thanks. Uh, another thing I wanted to say that if you guys ever wanted to donate or support me, uh, then I do have a Ko-Fi page up for those uh, reasons. I do have a couple subscriptions going that if you get, uh, if you subscribe to one of them, you get perks on my Discord server. So if you would like to take that route, or if you'd like to give me a one-time donation, I, I'll, I'll appreciate that as well. So um, yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I want to do is create a clip. Mine is Demon Slayer Ren Goku. So I have my motion dial on my, my layer, and then I'm gonna put a just layer that is the size of my clip. So first thing you're gonna want to do is press uh, your FX console or go to your press presets and go over and select S underscore to the shake. So First thing you're going to want to do is take a look at the overall settings. This is what we're going to focus on first. So, wrap backs and why you don't need this. That's when you don't have most power on your clip. Dissolve percentage. Anywhere over 30 tends to go black and white. So, go not black and white. goes fades out. So, 30%. Do not keyframe it. Dissolve speed. Do not keyframe it. Uh, amplitude. Amplitude is how strong your shake is. So, if you want to keep it on, the, on three, that's how it's going to look like. Uh... And in fact, the motion blur, you don't really need in this case. Uh, we're really talking about the shake here. <laughs> so for example, you can keyframe the amplitude. You can end it off at the end of the clip and then change it to zero. Have uh, both keyframes, press F9, open up the graph editor and make a graph like this. And you should be good for the amplitude. As you can see, it looks mighty weird and that's because we need to change the frequency so the frequency is it, it, it may look a little weird and mighty mighty bad because the frequency what is what makes it so fast like if you, that makes sense it's what makes it so shaky so if you were to put something like five it would only look like like a nice jump like bouncy shake but if we were gonna do 10, then it would look like very twitchy. So one thing about frequency you don't need to do is keyframe it because you usually, I or I would preferably keep it as a, at a constant value. So something like seven is my preferred. So I like to do a seven frequency and one to three amplitude. So that's usually my sweet spot for my shakes. Your shakes are, are going to be ultimate, ultimately different and now let's move on to the modules so the x shake module uh i would recommend using the random amplitude or frequency so first thing you're going to want to do is just do you can change the default or you can keep it the same uh i like to just do something like 120 max for my x shake x shake and then i like to lower the frequency to 0.8 uh my y shake uh, usually I like to keep it lower than the X shake and then I would do something like 90 and then change the random frequency to 1, to 1. Uh, Z shake which is your in and outs you'll usually I would put 100 uh, tilt shake is your left and right so if that's like your left and right here as you can see and if you did like uh, I think oh you can't do negative well, well I like to keep this out too I like to keep my tilt shake up there. And as you can see, looks pretty cool so far. But I kind of want to change it because it's a little bouncy. So how do I do that? Without changing all the values and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's when the seed comes, comes in. So what a seed does, it's it randomly gen number randomly generates a, she, uh, a shake using a number, basically. It's a random, it's a random number generator. So, uh, for example, if I wanted a different shake, I would just go through all these different options through the through the, through the number generation, and I would just try to find a shake that using my values that I like better. So, 
this is very important when you're trying to find specific chicks that that uh, you have in mind but don't really know how to get that chick it's just all you gotta use do is use to see so as you can see at a point four, point four seven already looks looks bouncy so what if if I did something like let's see if I did something like this it looks still looks a little too bouncy but let's see this is where your my brain starts to get going with all the different types of seeds. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically this is basically how I roll with my shakes. I always try to get a good um, I always try to get a good uh, shake going with the with the seeds because those are really important. So yeah, that 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 looks good. That looks that looks better in my opinion. So yeah, kind of like this. That was a little too bouncy and in and out with the bounciness. This that looks that looks better. It looks more straight. It, like it's not going all out everywhere. So yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty cool. So and if you also want to change the amplitude, like if you want to change the uh, amplitude uh, graph, you can. You can even lower the amount if you want. Make it last a little longer a little shorter so yeah that is basically an advanced essay uh for you if you like more tutorials please let me know uh in the comments on discord no matter uh no matter how hard it is i'll try to make it work somehow but uh yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a great one goodbye